Okay, so I am at the doctor. Let's see what we're looking at here. This is the culprit right there. How it's coming out of the bone. And it's just different views. This is what we're concerned about. How it's coming out. Right there, see it? So these are things that we're going to talk about. This is my pre-op appointment. Just kind of shows how everything's at. Craziness. Yeah, so that's not good. This is probably a better picture of how it's going outside the bone. So I'm just gonna pause and see what else. We're looking at anything else. I don't think there's anything else. Kind of shows where it's at. That just kind of gives you a better idea of what we're looking at. This, I know that much I had questions about those little, um, so I will ask about that, about those little white marks. Or just little benign things. I'm gonna pause and put it back on when the doctor comes in. Hi. Hey, how are you? Good. How are you? Good. Good. So. Don't forget, I'm gonna be recording again. It was so helpful last time when I recorded it because okay. I was able to go back and say, "What did you say?" Okay. So, so your surgery, I'm gonna make an incision back here. Go in there, find that little spot on your bone. You know, remember this little spot here. Right. Um, go in there, scrape it out, right. burn it with a high-speed burr, freeze it with a little liquid nitrogen, and then pack in some bone graft. Wash it up and sew it up. Right. Um, the surgery itself will take about an hour and a half to do. You can go home the same day. Um, the I'll give you a sling to use, but you don't even have to use a sling. Okay. In fact, I want you to move your shoulder right away. Um, We'll have you come back in about two weeks, get your stitches out, and I'll see you back in about a month just to make sure you're healing up okay. Mm -hmm. um, it'll take somewhere from one to three months for your bones to heal back in from that. Okay. Um, after which, uh, we'll have a biopsy of it, and we'll know whether it's the benign one or the cancer one. Right. If it's the benign one, then we're all done. Right. If it's the cancer one, just means that we'll have to keep following you over time to make sure it doesn't come back. As we discussed before, that this still, you know, this isn't taking care of, remember you came to the doctor because you had a rotator cuff tear. Right, right. And we're not fixing your rotator cuff tear. Right. Yeah. And so you still may have to go and get your rotator cuff fixed and take care of that. Sure. Um, why don't we, you know, like we talked before, why don't we do both at the same time? Well, because really the best rehab for this is get your shoulder moving right away, no restrictions. And the other one's not moving. And the other one's not moving. Right. And, and so, if I did both at the same time, your shoulder would probably get very, very stiff, and you wouldn't have a good result. Right, gotcha. Um, like any surgery, there are risks. There's risks of bleeding, infection, damaging nerves and blood vessels, risk of blood clots. Um, what are the biggest risks with this? A uh, couple, three things. Um, one is that the tumor could come back. Uh, you may need more surgery to get it out right. in the future, and it may be bigger, more extensive surgery. Mm. Um, other risks, um, if it turns out to be the cancer version, it can spread and kill you, although not common. Right. Um, and then, like we talked before, you might need additional surgery. 
uh, to take care of what's really going on with your shoulder. Right, right. What questions you got for me? The question I got for you. <clears throat> so, because I, I understood how you explained how it's, it was supposed to stop growing, it didn't stop growing. Right. It's in this shoulder. What's to say it's not in this shoulder? Yeah, very rare. Okay. So, um, it, it's, yeah. So, the, first of all, bone tumors are rare to begin with. Right. So, to have it in any one bone is rare. Okay. So, have it in multiple bones, that's yeah, that's extremely. Okay. So, okay. you're taking rare times rare. Okay. Okay. Because I, I just know that you explained it as it was supposed to stop growing, it didn't stop growing. So, I wasn't right. sure if it was just like something that. No, like, you don't have lots of these all over the place. Okay. In the one in the one picture that you have, I think it's there's let me see this one right here. What are these spots? Do you know? Sure, those are all blood vessels. Oh, okay. So this particular sequence is a T2 or what we call a fluid sensitive sequence. So things that have fluid, like here, see this white in your joint? Uh huh. That's your joint fluid. Okay. So like here's a vein, you know, here's like veins and arteries and you can see them all show up with fluid. Gotcha. So that's just showing you fluid. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So like there's fluid where your rotator cuff is torn. Hmm. Gotcha. That doesn't mean those are all tumors. Right, right. Only that guy is the tumor. Right, right. Yeah, I was just curious what those were. Somebody um, had a question. I was like, because I know, because I did have a biopsy done. Um, they found a benign something, and, but that was a long time ago, so I didn't know, because it's on the same side, if that was that. That's why I had the question. No. And you're the person to ask. Yeah, no. <laughs> Other questions? Um, just, the, just the recovery time. I, you covered that as far as should be pretty quick recovery. Am I going to need physical therapy? Maybe. Depending on how it heals. Right. It really depends on how you, you quickly you get it moving. If you don't spend a lot of time in your sling, don't baby it and get it moving right away, you're not going to need therapy. Right. Okay. Um, if you come in, you're like, oh, I can't move it, I'm not using it, uh, like that, well, yeah, you'll be in therapy. Yeah. Well, I have fibromyalgia, so I'm used to moving around. Right. Because I know that that stops it from hurting more. Well, right. <laughs> but also fibromyalgia is going to make every... So when, if you operate on somebody with fibromyalgia, you piss off their fibromyalgia. Mm. So Oh, it's already pissed off. Well, right. But this <laughs> but is yeah. this is going to aggravate it more. Yeah. And so how to... Will it aggravate you so much that you just feel like you can't move it? Well, I don't know. Yeah. So okay. if you get to a point where you feel like you can't move it, then yes, we'll get you into therapy. Okay. As long as you keep it moving, you won't be going into therapy. Okay. My sister had a question. She was going to be here, but she had to work. So let me pull that up real quick. Make sure I cover it. She says, explain recovery time and stages. When can I drive? You can drive when you're off your pain medicine and you feel safe and comfortable driving. Gotcha. How long until we know if we got all the cancer? You said you said anywhere from two days to two weeks to last. Correct. Time. Yeah. To get the biopsy results. Um, how long before life is back to normal? Never. <laughs> It'll always be yes. And let him know the status of smoking. I did research anesthesiologist. Um, and I did get the call from the appointment. Was it seven o'clock in the morning? Okay. Good. So they called me while I was in here waiting. Okay. Okay. And that I think that's basically all she asked. That's all she asked. I mean, I, okay. Everything else is pretty much you covered your bases pretty good. The first time. The first time, yeah. yeah I usually do. Yeah. Right, um, right. so nothing to eat or drink after midnight the night before your surgery. Right. I will see you the day of your surgery. Answer any questions or concerns you have, and then right before I get ready to operate on you, I will ask you one crazy question, which is which shoulder are we operate on today. Mm. Okay. It's the right. Right. <laughs> oh, just to make sure. <laughs> just to be sure. Yes. <laughs> Any questions? No, that's going to be it. All right. Okay. We'll see you on Monday. All right. Thank you very much. Sure. Right. Just check out the front of your mail. Perfect. All right. There you guys have it. That's the end of it. See you soon.